the first selection of the 2015 National Hockey League Draft belongs to the Edmonton Oilers. It'll throw up, I think. The Edmonton Oilers would like to select with their first pick, Connor McDavid. Welcome Thank you so to much. the NHL. Thank you. Only in Canada, thousands of fans showed up in Edmonton today to watch Connor McDavid and the Oilers practice. And when I mean the Oilers, I mean a bunch of young kids. On July 3rd, or 3rd in English, it was McDavid's <laughs> first public practice. And it was such a big deal, we showed it live earlier today on Sportsnet 360. It was enthralling television, wasn't it, Sydney? I got my popcorn ready. <laughs> We are now joined by the most famous 18-year-old in the country of Canada. He is Connor McDavid joining us from Edmonton. Uh, Connor, congratulations first off on signing your entry-level deal with the Oilers. I know that just happened today. Uh, first question, any thoughts of holding out at the last minute? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, I was, uh, couldn't be happier to be a part of the Oilers family, and uh, to make it official today is uh, very special. What have the few, uh, first few days of being an Oiler been like for you? Uh, pretty surreal to be honest. I mean, uh, it's a question I've been getting a lot. I mean, um, it's it's almost hard to believe. Uh, I mean, to be to be a part of such a storied franchise and you know the history that is behind it, the great names that have played for it. I mean, uh, it's very special to be a part of that. It, uh, it's almost surreal. Is there any point? I know you've been building to this for your entire career, but has there been any point during this process, especially walking into Rexall, where you're like? Holy bleep, I'm putting on an Oilers jersey in the place where Gretzky and Messier just used to run through the NHL. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's very special to think about. I mean, uh, you know, it's such a, an amazing building. And, um, you know, the fans today, I mean, uh, they're out in waves today. So it was, uh, it's very special to be a part of it. It's a very exciting time to be a part of the family. And um, I just can't wait to, to keep moving forward. Uh, let, let's talk about the fans today at Rexall, and, and again, just to reiterate, it was basically a workout during <laughs> orientation camp, yeah. but some people thought 2,000 Oiler fans, I know, you can't even, I can't say it with a straight face, <laughs> 2,000 Oiler fans showed up basically, with all due respect to the 30 other kids, to watch you. When's the last time 2,000 people show up to watch you practice, out of curiosity? Uh, I don't think it was just for me. I mean, there's a lot of great names out there. Uh, obviously, Darnell and, and Leon and uh, Chase. I mean, the list goes on and on of great Oiler prospects that are here this week. So, um, you know, it wasn't just to see me, but, um, you know, of course, uh, they're out to, to watch practice. And, uh, you know, it's awesome to see the support. Um, you know, I know all the guys were, were very happy and, um, you know, really trying to put on a show. But, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, we, we were just doing uh, some system stuff. Um, nothing too exciting for fans to watch, but, I mean, that's the stuff that wins games. So, so, um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's very special for them to, to come out and, and watch practice and support us like that. You mentioned some of the other kids on the team. Is it nice to have a familiar face like Darnell when you're at your first orientation camp? Yeah, for sure. He's been great. I mean, uh, he was someone that I've been talking to for a little bit before uh, this all kind of happened. And, uh, you know, he's been there for me, and, and I can't say enough good stuff about him. He's such a great guy, and, um, and I'm very lucky to, to have him here in, in, uh, in Edmonton, uh, you know, with me. And um, you know, we get along well, but, I mean, there's, there's a lot of other guys here that, uh, that have been great as well. So um, you know, it's, it's a good group of guys, and uh, we're having a lot of fun this week. Connor, what's the best piece of advice anyone has given you so far, and who was that person? I mean, it's really tough to to kind of pick one. I mean, a lot of great uh, great people have uh, have been uh, sharing some some advice. I mean, uh, maybe look at a guy like you know, I just met Mr. Gretzky and uh, talked to Mr. Messi in Chicago, and um, you know, obviously there's there's close family like my dad and and uh, you know even my agent Bobby Orr and. Uh, you know the long list of NHLers that uh, that I've talked to, so I'm um, very lucky to have the support uh, that I do. Um, you know, it's really hard to pick one. I mean, uh, I'm very lucky that way. I gotta admit, I love the Mr. Gretzky, yeah, the Mr. Messier. That's pretty good. That, that's awesome. Yeah. There's got to, people have known your name for a long time, from when you were, you know, 15, 16 years old. I'm sure you met a lot of people. Have any of them caused you to kind of take a step back and, and say, "Man, I just met blank," or? turned you into fanboy because I mean for me I, my first interview was Jim Brown and I was in that spot like I was like holy crap I'm talking to Jim Brown has anyone put you in that spot 
Yeah, I mean, obviously uh, meeting guys like uh, Gretzky and, and Messier and, and those type of guys, uh, you know, guys that uh, you know, are the, the greats of all time. And, uh, you know, I remember meeting Bobby when I was just 12 years old, and uh, it was hard for me to even put together a word. So, um, of course, uh, you know, I'm a hockey player, but I'm a hockey fan, and, and of course I follow a lot of uh, a lot of those guys. And um, you know, when you get a chance to, to meet someone like that or, or players like that, it uh, of course turns you into a fanboy. So uh, um, you know, hockey's great that way. The, the the alumni are always trying to give back, and even the current players are always trying to you know share what they know uh, on with the younger guys. And um, that's the beauty of hockey, and uh, you know, it's just uh, what makes them such good guys. Okay, Connor, we know you're really, really busy. Get back to the orientation camp. Get back to the boys, okay? Thanks. Okay, thank you very much, guys.